Hey guys, uh, this is our um, preview for, well, whatever, our before watching for day two of our eight days of hell. Um, the movies we're going to be watching for today are. 30 Days of Night. We've both seen it before. It's a fucking awesome film. We're going to watch it again. Yeah, love that movie. And Fright Night. Oh, Fright Night, which we've both seen these, so there's not much to say before watching about what we expect from the movies because we know they're both fucking awesome. Apart um, from the vampires in this, are actually scary. Yeah. Scary vampires. Exactly. Um, so yeah, and obviously this has Peter Vincent in it. And I haven't seen Fright Night for a while, actually. Yeah, we've due a rewatch. Uh, I think we watched Thirty Days of Night not too long ago, but love this movie. And he's alright, um, man. Josh, Josh. Yeah, Hart. exactly. But I'm sure you guys know about all these two movies enough, anyway. So yeah, um, we'll see you for our review afterwards. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Right, <laughs> hey guys. Um, the doctor's just seen something quite exciting. Flies, maybe. Is there someone coming? Is there someone coming? Cats. It's a cats. <laughs> Look, say hello to everyone. No, no that's the ceiling. That's anyway, hi guys. Um, this is review number two for um, day two of our eight days of hell. Um, today we watched obviously two movies, which were. Um, we've got Fright Night. And Thirty Days a Night. Um, we watched Fright Night first. We have seen it before, uh, quite a while ago, and I think it might have been on TV. I don't remember watching it on DVD. Was it TV we watched it on? It might have been. I think I might, as with quite a few movies we see, I saw it on TV and kind of watched it when I was, I don't know, bef before Ellie and me lived together, and then I said, Ellie, we've got to watch this movie, and then it was on TV again, and we watched it together, and then we had to buy it on DVD. But yeah, right, I don't, I didn't recognise the menu. On the DVD no. menu graphics, so I don't think we'd watched it on DVD before. Um, we both really love this film. We haven't sort of gone near the remake. Um, not sure whether we will, but yeah, it's it's pretty much awesome from start to finish. There's not really any any outwardly boring or waiting for anything to happen, is there? No. There's a couple of sort of teenage sort of not it's not sex, is it? But sort of lust scenes that are a bit like, ugh. but. It's really, really good. All the actors are really, really good. I'm not very good with actors' names or directors or, you know, who did what, but... The director's Tom Holland, and there's Rodney McDowell in it, who plays Peter Vincent, and the rest of the actors, I don't know what else they've done. I really like the actor who plays Peter Vincent. I think it's really good, and I, I love the idea of horror hosts, because obviously we don't really have it, because in Britain, all we'll never have done. No. And um, Peter Vincent's basically Peter Cushion and Vincent Price moulded together, uh, the character is. I love the idea of having... TV and movies within movies so obviously the plot of this is there's a vampire moves in next door the kid watches this horror host Peter Vincent and he doesn't know what to do because no one believes him so he contacts Peter Vincent the great vampire killer TV host to um, kill the vampire and of course he's a character he doesn't actually know Spoiler anything alert, yeah sorry well you should know for all these movies if you haven't seen the movies you shouldn't watch these videos because we're going to talk about the plot um, yeah so I, I love that and um there's some really cool scenes in it, like um, when the kid goes back and he's preparing his room for when he's going to get the vampire's going to visit. He's covered in candles and garlic at the windows. Yeah. And he's sharpening steaks and there's crucifixes everywhere. That's really cool. And I like that it's just sort of that isolated story. Please don't wash me. Um, they don't really explain where the vampire's come from or why he's moved in or where no. his human servant came from. They've just... <sighs> Sorry, the dog's washing my leg through my trousers. <laughs> He's just he just turns up and moves in, and the the vampire almost taunts the kid, and it's quite it's quite funny watching the kid freak out. Yeah. Over the vampire going, so what? I mean, my my favorite thing about this movie was the fact that vampires in this movie, they're, as with a lot, they're played to be sexy. That's but what? but yeah. when they're vampire, when they're in their, their vampire, their creature form, they're they're ugly. They can and barely they, talk. Yeah, and and the creature effects in this are really good. There's a bat creature when he's like mid transform into a bat he looks just he looks horrible he looks like like a, a living turd or something and there's a wolf uh, one as well and the yeah. kid turns into a wolf um, and then there's one where the girl in it Amy she vamps up near the end and it is really scary she has this big kind of smile on her face with it's all like these cut up higher yeah it's kind of like the Joker kind of thing but but nowhere near it um, and but we knew we were going to love watching this film yeah brilliant movie I mean, we've seen both of the movies we watched today, but we haven't seen them for a while. Um, 
The thing about the remake is, as I've said many times before, I'm not against remakes. I think it's a good way of revitalising interest in a yeah. classic movie. Um, and sometimes they can they can do better. I mean, I've heard, I haven't seen it, but I've heard the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remakes are quite liked. I like the Hills Have Eyes remakes. I know quite a few people prefer them to the um, to the originals. We prefer the original, but anyway, that's off the point. I haven't seen the Fright Night remake because too much of it doesn't interest me, and I don't think it fits. I like the horror. I mean, the main thing. Oh, they don't lick the computer. They don't lick the computer. Stop it. The main thing I my know the main thing I love about um, Fright Night is that uh, Peter Vincent, the, the horror host character, and the fact they changed that. I mean, yes, it's David Tennant, and he's probably the best thing in the movie. <laughs> but, um, as Milo obviously agrees, um, but that was too big a change for me. I think they could have really, really hammed up a horror host nowadays with, with lots of cheesy horror stuff. Um, so I think they missed a trick there. And... Um, it's just displaying his beauty yeah. to you from all Colin Farrell as a vampire. I, I've heard that. I mean, I just saw the trailer, and it was just him getting topless a lot, and it just just <laughs> seemed like out of his mouth. <laughs> it just seemed like it was made for pe- for the teen audience, and not my kind of thing. It might be a great movie, and if some people, I probably will check it out. But usually, I'm not bothered about remakes because, like I say, I don't understand people's love for the original, where they they hate the remake because the original still exists. But I've got to say, with Fright Night, I love the original so much that I am quite. I feel quite paternal about the movie and the fact they made Effective. a remake so bad there's not even anything good I can pick out of it from what I've seen. Um, yeah. But like I say, it, that's my opinion and it could be a good movie and plenty of people would like it and if more people are interested in Fright Night, the original because of it, then obviously... We'll probably have a look at it when it comes out on DVD. Yeah. Um, right, so sorry for whittling on there. You've been talking now. Um, the second one we've just finished is 30 Days a Night. Um, again, we both love this film. I really like this film because... The vampires are quite scary. I like that they don't change. They are, they have mouths full of teeth and really long nails all the time. They look really, really weird. And I think it's just really clever that you know, they are they hunt in a pack and they're clever enough to go to somewhere that doesn't have any daylight for thirty days, and just sort of have a buffet basically. Yeah, I mean, all stealing all the mobile. They got um like a hobo to go up there beforehand to steal all the mobile phones and cut all the phone lines and turn the generators off. And Josh Hartnett actually in it is really good, and it's actually got quite a sad ending. Yeah, I mean the the, the thing it leaves I, it open, doesn't it? It's like you say with the pack thing. The thing I love about this movie, and it's quite it's quite a lot like dog sol- dog soldiers in that the enemy aren't just. I mean, in this, the vampires are shown to be feral, but there's Marlow who's like the lead, their cool. sergeant, I suppose. Yes. And he he's intelligent. I mean, he knows what he's doing, and. Um, he, 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 I mean, he's even talking. He's like, he's like a, um, what is it? Philosophy. He's like a philosopher. He's like saying these things. There's a scene where there's a girl about to be killed, and she calls out for God, and Marlo sort of get, asks the question, God, and then looks up at the sky, and then kind of looks at it and just goes, No God, and it's awesome. And the guy who plays uh, Marlo, I think it's Danny Houston. Yes. He's amazing. He just came from nowhere to being in a horror movie and playing a villain that cool. It's one, and one scene where he's um. Wiping blood in his hands to slick back his hair. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? In the middle of this, which is basically snow and blood, no humour at all, no, and he's doing no something like that. And then there's got the guy, um, someone, Marky Boone Jr., I think, who's in Dog Sons Soldiers. Uh, Sons, Sons sorry, Sons of Anarchy as well. He's, that's awesome. he's the old old fat dude with the hair that goes down there. He gets in a JCB snowplow thing with a massive turning blade on it, it's and just goes... Up mental and he's the perfect shot with the shotgun and it's just mental and he's an awesome with the gore and um, the final fight with Josh Hartnett's um, character Eben versus Marlowe is just brilliant because it isn't he's like he's a really good character Josh Eben, Hartnett yeah. he's a really good character and, and I mean this fight is brilliant because Josh Hartnett doesn't win the fight by being the hero and for him being the only human that can, that can kill this vampire it's like a complete piece of luck that he kills Marlow. Yeah, that he because Marlow flies at him to, keep, to finish him off, and he puts his fist out, and his his head, his hand goes through his throat and out the back of his head with his brain, which basically is Marlow, Marlow dead. Basically killed himself, I suppose, wouldn't they? Yeah, really? but of course, to do this, Josh Hartnett had to inject inject himself with vampire blood, so he had the strength to fight him. So in the end, Josh Hartnett has to die anyway. So I love that because it's a it's a bit of a cop out in movies where 
someone's chasing them and killing them and then they die by falling over a cliff or something like that. Yeah. Or you've got this one person who, throughout the whole movie, this villain can kill anyone they want and this one person can kill them for no reason. But yeah, um, anything else you want to say? Um, long. There's a prequel to this going around. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Blood Trials? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, should, there was a short story it. one and then there's... They now know made a movie length one of it, but apparently it's not very good, the movie length one. The short, the short story one. one is really good. Um, and also the ending kind of... Explains. So the ending of this, where uh, the woman looking at the camera, it kind of gives you the feeling that she's now pissed off and she's going to go hunting for the rest of the pack. Um, yeah, that was really good. So yeah, really cool. Definitely enjoyed these two movies. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Um, might a bit more involved in this title. Uh, yeah, cheers for watching, guys. Bye.